Well, welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Brimbank Live on Live FM. I'm your host, Lydia, and I'm joined by my co-host, Roshani. We have Dave, oh, just before I introduce our special guest, we're at the Neighbourhood House um, Sector Luncheon at Hotel Windsor, celebrating the Neighbourhood Houses in Victoria. Um, get my guest here today, Dave, from Wyndham City Council. I also have Tanya here from the Wyndham Park Community Centre. Firstly, thank you for coming on board, guys. Yes. We appreciate it. How are you thank guys? You. Good. <laughs> good. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Um, maybe we could start by asking you, Dave, what is it that you do exactly at the in the Wyndham City Council space? So my title is coordinator uh, of Neighbourhood Hubs um, and we, my team, manage eight community centres, mm -hmm. mainly in the newer growth areas of the, the Wyndham. Yeah. Um, we're about to get a ninth, wow. so that's very exciting. It's currently under construction yeah. and uh, we hope the staff team will move in next month and then open for community activities in, in July, so wow. it's quite exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Thank yeah. you for that. And yourself, um, Tanya? Yes, yeah, so um, I operate off the Wyndham Park Community Centre yeah. and I run a women's support group, yeah. which has been operating for about six years. Uh, but in Wyndham Park Community Centre, probably a couple of years. Wow. Yes. Yeah, heavy involvement in the community by the two of you. May I ask um, what it means to you to be here today um, to celebrate the neighbourhood houses? Well, I think it's just awesome. It's just, you know, bringing everyone together under the one mm. roof and basically learning and hearing about what other community centres do as well and neighbourhood houses do. Mm. It just inspires. Yeah. Um, and, it, yeah, it's just a really great place to come to. Yeah. And, awesome. I, and for me, I think you know, it's really inspiring. The, the award winners today are some mm. awesome projects. Mm. But I think also it just shows the way different neighbourhood houses, community centres respond to their community yeah. Yeah. and reflect their community True. and create opportunities for community members to join in or participate or even lead programs yes. um, as they're ready. Absolutely. And speaking Absolutely. of supporting communities, can we ask what you were both involved in or what you were doing last year to respond to the hectic year that was COVID? Um, yeah. Yeah. So for myself, I um, having run the women's sport group in person, I had to make a change, mm. obviously. And then we had some Zoom sessions and yeah. stuff like that to keep everyone still connected. Yeah. Um, but I also had some involvement with the food bank and assisting people who were going through difficult times. Yeah. yeah. So delivering packages to even our women within our group mm. and other you know other people within the community that needed support definitely mm. wow yeah yeah Dave? so for council was a little different all our community centers were, were largely closed apart mm. from uh emergency relief and food bank and yep. that, those sorts of activities we 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 started a completely new program which we called check in and chat Okay. Wow, so nice. one of the things with neighbourhood houses and community centres, it's it's a place for people to come, feel welcome, and yep. have that point of connection with others mm, in the community. Right. Yeah. Um, and with the doors closed and staff working from home, it was yeah. like, how could we provide that? Yeah. That support, that connection to people, uh, and really, you know, so the team were making sometimes weekly, sometimes fortnightly calls with mm. members of the community. Yeah. Just to make sure they're staying, you know, that voice of connection. You know, yeah. some connection with someone other than just people in the household. Yeah, exactly. And for a lot of people, you know, they were actually living alone. Um, with some absolutely heartbreaking stories of, mm. you know, one fellow who had just lost his wife so he, and his children moved out. So he'd gone from a living in a family environment wow. yeah. very, very quickly to being to, at yeah. home alone. Yeah. Um, and just some of my team being able to support him and have that mm. regular point of connection. Uh, was was you know really valuable service mm. very valuable because some people don't even have the strength to say they need a conversation yeah. so to yeah. take the initiative and reach out to the community members would have been really a blessing yeah yeah moving forward um you know looking at covid and how um the community has been able to to get out of it and also be supported through neighborhood house what other projects do you have um moving forward out of covid um that Wyndham are, are putting on well, we were just talking about this before before yes. <laughs> before we came on air, and, and I think you know COVID hit the Wyndham community and in the West really really uh, hard. Yeah, you know the highest number of cases was was in Wyndham. Yeah. Uh, so there's still a lot of recovery. Yeah. Needed, uh, and one of the things we we're talking mm. about is just that sense of you know neighbourhood houses, community centres being open again, mm. and that opportunity for people to reconnect, re-establish those connections, yeah. rebuild connections. Mm. 
you know, that's really, really important. And that's a big focus of our work, certainly all of this year. Yeah. Um, mm. You know, and I imagine that'll continue. You know, yes, things will start getting back to more and more, you know, COVID normal. Mm. Yeah. Um, but that support, that that connection will still mm. be a real, real focal point yeah. for us. Yeah. No, that's Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. And Tanya, um, what about your? Yeah, so for me, what has happened is once we were able to meet again, mm. um, we've come up with all these beautiful project ideas. Wow. I'm sure the women are really eager to come out and do things. So, mm. um, so we're looking at doing a community tap kitchen. Uh, we're looking at a garden project. Uh, plus, we have some ladies who are into sewing, so we're looking oh, at yeah, nice. engaging the women in Lovely. very positive nice. ways, hopefully, yeah. and yeah, getting them out there, sort of to to come back and connect. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a real positive. So I'm really looking forward to. Well, thank you that. for all of the work that you do in the community, and once again, thank you for joining us here today. Um, for those listening, we're at the Neighbourhood Houses Sector Luncheon at the Hotel Windsor. You're listening to Brimbank Live on Live FM. I'm your host, Lydia, joined by Rashani, my co-host, and you just heard from Dave and Tanya, who are in the community and doing amazing things. Thank you so much for joining oh, and us. Congratulations yeah. again on winning the award today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> recognition for the work that you guys thank have been doing. You. And we'll continue to do with the next wave of young people coming through. So, yeah. you know, Thank kudos you. to Thank you, you. you both as well. Yeah, so. that's Appreciate been it. awesome for you too, for yeah. all of you to get that award. That's really great. It's really encouraging. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Yeah.